Leptis or Leptis Magna, also known by other names in antiquity, was a prominent city of the Carthaginian Empire and Roman Libya located at the mouth of the Wadi Libda on the Mediterranean. Originally a 7th century BC Phoenician foundation, it was greatly expanded under the Roman Emperor Septimius Severus r. 193 who was a native of the city. The 3rd Augustan legion was stationed here to defend the city against Berber incursions. After the legion's dissolution under Gordian III in 238, the city was increasingly open to raids in the later part of the 3rd century. Diocletian reinstated the city as provincial capital, and the city grew again in prosperity until it fell to the Vandals in 439. It was reincorporated into the Eastern Empire in 533, but continued to be plagued by Berber raids and never recovered its former importance. It fell to the Muslim invasion in c. 647 and was abandoned. Its ruins are located within present-day Homs, Libya, 130 kilometers 81 miles east of Tripoli. They are among the best preserved Roman sites in the Mediterranean. Topic. Names The Punic name of the settlement was written LPQ Punic, or LPQY. This has been tentatively connected to the Semitic root present in Arabic LFQ, meaning to build, or to piece together. Presumably in reference to the construction of the city, this name was Hellenized as Leptis Megael Greek, Leptis Megael, Greater Leptis, distinguishing it from the Lesser Leptis, closer to Carthage in modern-day Tunisia. It was also known by the Greeks as Neapolis, Neapolis, New Town. The Latinization of these names was Leptis or Leptis Magna, Greater Leptis, which also appeared as the Leptomagnes City, Latin, Leptomagnensis Civitas. The Latin demonym was Leptitan, Leptitanus. It was also known as Ulpia Traiana as a Roman colony. Its Arabic name is Labda. Labda. Topic. History. Topic. Phoenicians. The Phoenician city was founded in the second half of the seventh century BC. Little is known about Leptis during this time, but it appears to have been powerful enough to repel Dorieus's attempt to establish a Greek colony nearby around 515 BC. Like most Western Phoenician settlements, Leptis became part of the Carthaginian Empire and fell under Rome's control with Carthage's defeat in the Punic Wars. Leptis remained highly independent for a period after about 111 BC. Topic: Roman Republic. The Roman Republic sent some colonists together with a small garrison in order to control the city. The city prospered and was even allowed to coin its own money in silver and bronze. Reflecting its blend of cultures, its coins bore Punic inscriptions but images of Hercules and Dionysus. Soon Italian merchants settled in the city and started a profitable commerce with the Libyan interior. The city depended primarily on the fertility of its surrounding farmland, where many olive presses have been excavated. By 46 BC, its olive oil production was of such an extent that the city was able to provide 3 million pounds of oil annually to Julius Caesar as tax. Topic. Roman Empire During the reign of Augustus, Leptis Magna was classified as a civitas libera et immunis, or a free community, over which the governor had an absolute minimum of control. As such Leptis retain its two suffetes at the head of its government, with the MHZM, similar to the Roman aediles, as minor magistrates. In addition there were such sacred officials as the Adir Ararim or Prefectus Sacrorum, the Nequam Elam, and probably a sacred college of fifteen members. These offices were still in effective operation when Leptis was made a municipium. With a certain degree of Roman rights and privileges at some time between 61 and 68 AD, during the rule of Nero. Leptis Magna remained as such until the reign of the Roman Emperor Tiberius, when the city and the surrounding area were formally incorporated into the empire as part of the province of Africa. It soon became one of the leading cities of Roman Africa and a major trading post. The city grew rapidly under Roman administration. During the reign of Nero an amphitheater was constructed. The settlement was elevated to municipium in AD 64 or 65 and to Colonia under Trajan R. 98 to 117 
Leptis achieved its greatest prominence beginning in AD 193, as the hometown of Emperor Septimius Severus. Septimius favoured his hometown above all other provincial cities, and the buildings and wealth he lavished on it made Leptis Magna the third most important city in Africa, rivaling Carthage and Alexandria. In AD 205, he and the imperial family visited the city and bestowed great honours. Among the changes that Severus introduced were to create a magnificent new forum and to rebuild the docks. The natural harbour had a tendency to silt up, but the Severan changes made this worse, and the eastern wharves are extremely well preserved, since they were scarcely used. Leptis overextended itself during this period. During the crisis of the 3rd century, when trade declined precipitously, Leptis Magna's importance also fell into a decline, and by the middle of the 4th century, even before it was completely devastated by the 365 tsunami, large parts of the city had been abandoned. Ammianus Marcellinus recounts that the crisis was worsened by a corrupt Roman governor named Romanus who demanded bribes to protect the city during a major tribal raid. The ruined city could not pay these and complained to the emperor Valentinian I. Romanus then bribed people at court and arranged for the Leptin envoys to be punished for bringing false accusations. It enjoyed a minor renaissance beginning in the reign of the emperor Theodosius I. Topic. Vandal Kingdom In 439, Leptis Magna and the rest of the cities of Tripolitania fell under the control of the Vandals when their king, Geyseric, captured Carthage from the Romans and made it his capital. Unfortunately for the future of Leptis Magna, Geyseric ordered the city's walls demolished so as to dissuade its people from rebelling against Vandal rule. The people of Leptis and the Vandals both paid a heavy price for this in AD 523 when a group of Berber raiders sacked the city. Topic: <inaudible> Byzantine Empire. Belisarius, general of Emperor Justinian I of the Byzantine Empire, recaptured Leptis Magna in the name of the Roman Empire 10 years later, and in 533 quarters it was reincorporated into the empire. Leptis became a provincial capital of the Eastern Empire, but never recovered from the destruction wreaked upon it by the Berbers. In 544, under the prefecture of Sergius, the city came under intensified attack of Berber tribes, and after some successes, Sergius was reduced to retreating into the city, with the Luithi tribal confederation camped outside the gate demanding payments. Sergius admitted 80 deputies into the city to present their demands, but when Sergius moved to leave the conference he was detained by the robe by one deputy and crowded by others. This provoked an officer of the prefect's guard to kill the deputy laying hands on the prefect, which resulted in a general massacre. The Berbers reacted with an all-out attack and Sergius was eventually forced to abandon Leptis and retreat to Carthage. Islamic conquest. By the 6th century, the city was fully Christianized. During the decade 565–578 AD Christian missionaries from Leptis Magna even began to move once more among the Berber tribes as far south as the Fasan in the Libyan desert and converted the Garamantes. Numerous new churches were built in the 6th century, but the city continued to decline, and by the time of the Arab conquest around 647 the city was mostly abandoned except for a Byzantine garrison force and a population of less than 1,000 inhabitants. Under Arab domination Leptis disappeared, by the 10th century the city was forgotten and fully covered by sand. Excavation <inaudible> 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 Today, the site of Leptis Magna is the site of some of the most impressive ruins of the Roman period. Part of an ancient temple was brought from Leptis Magna to the British Museum in 1816 and installed at the Fort Belvedere Royal Residence in England in 1826. It now lies in part of Windsor Great Park. The ruins are located between the south shore of Virginia Water and Blacknest Road close to the junction with the A30 London Road and Wentworth Drive. When Italians conquered Italian Libya in the early 20th century, they dedicated huge efforts to the rediscovery of Leptis Magna. In the early 1930s Italian archaeological research was able to show again the buried remains of nearly all the city. A 4th to 3rd century BC necropolis was found under the Roman theatre. 
In June 2005, it was revealed that archaeologists from the University of Hamburg had been working along the coast of Libya when they uncovered a 30 feet length of five colorful mosaics created during the 1st or 2nd century. The mosaics show with exceptional clarity depictions of a warrior in combat with a deer, four young men wrestling a wild bull to the ground, and a gladiator resting in a state of fatigue and staring at his slain opponent. The mosaics decorated the walls of a cold plunge pool in a bath house within a Roman villa at Wadi Libda in Leptis Magna. The gladiator mosaic is noted by scholars as one of the finest examples of representational mosaic art ever seen. A masterpiece comparable in quality with the Alexander mosaic in Pompeii. The mosaics were originally discovered in the year 2000 but were kept secret in order to avoid looting. They are currently on display in the Leptis Magna Museum. There were unfounded reports that Leptis Magna was used as a cover for tanks and military vehicles by pro Gaddafi forces during the 2011 Libyan Civil War. When asked about the possibility of conducting an airstrike on the historic site, NATO refused to rule out the possibility of such an action, saying that it had not been able to confirm the rebels' report that weapons were being hidden at the location. Topic gallery Topic See also Leptis Magna Museum The Arch of Septimius Severus in Leptis Magna Volubilis Caesarea Thistris Serta Thamagadi Lambesis Topic References Topic Citations Topic Bibliography Bullo, Silvia. Provincia Africa, La Cita e il Territorio dalla Caduta di Cartagena Naran. Editor Lerma di Bretschneider. Roma, 2002 ISBN 8882651681 De Miro, Ernesto and Antonella Polito. Leptis Magna. Dici anni di scavi archaeologici nel area del Foro Vecchio. I livelli fenici, punici e romani. Lerma D. Bretschneider, Rom 2005, ISBN 88-8265-309-9. Floriani Squarciapino, Maria. Leptis Magna. Raggi, Basel 1966 Ruinenstad Nordafrikas 2. Gaki, Mansur 2015, Toponyma et onomastique libiques, La Porte de l'Ecriture Punique, Neofunique PDF, La Lingua nella Vita e la Vita della Lingua, Itinerary e Percorsi degli Studi Berberi, Studi Africanistici, Quaderni di Studi Berberi e Libico Berberi, No. 4, Naples, Unior, pp. 65-71, ISBN 978-88-6719-125-3, ISSN 2283-56 636, in French, Head, Barclay, et al., 1911, Certica, Historia Numorum, 2nd ed., Oxford, Clarendon Press, p. 875. Kreikenbaum, Detlev, Leptis Magna vor der Arabischen Eroberung, in Detlev Kreikenbaum, Franz Christoph Muth, Jörg Thielmann, H.G., Arabisch Christen, Christen in Arabian, Frankfurt am Main U.A., Peter Lang, 2007, Nordostafrikanisch, Westasiatisch Studien, 6, 35-54. Momsen, Theodore. The Provinces of the Roman Empire. Barnes & Noble ed. New York, 2003 Robin, Daniel. The Early Churches in North Africa The Holy Seed. Tamarisk Publications. Chester, 1993 ISBN 978-0-9538565-3-4 Richard Talbert. Barrington Atlas of the Greek and Roman World, ISBN 0-691-03169-X, p. 35. Tomlinson, Richard A. 1992. From Mycenae to Constantinople, The Evolution of the Ancient City. New York, Routledge. ISBN 0-203-72114-4. External links Babylon, ECF Leptis section Leptis Magna. Encyclopædia Britannica, 16 11th ed. p. 482. Comprehensive website, by an archaeologist working on the site Livius.org, Leptis Magna The main site at Leptis Magna, Satellite View on Google Maps The Circus top, and Amphitheater at Leptis Magna, Satellite View Google Maps Complete photo coverage of Leptis Magna Mattingly, D. R. Talbert, T. Elliott, S. Gillies. Places, 344,448 Neapolis, Leptis Magna. Pleiades. Retrieved March 8, 2012. CS1 maint, multiple names, authors list link. Official UNESCO page Photos, location map and info Libyan Revolution and NATO Propaganda, The Post Hole 360-degree panoramic photograph